This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And while supplies last, if you mention Saffron Olive in your order notes, we'll hook you up with a free Saffron Olive sticker with any Card Kingdom order. Hello, everyone. It's Seth. Uh, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So this week, we are kind of having a special episode. We're kicking off our first Much Brew with Throne of Eldraine Standard and playing a deck that I've been working on, I'm kind of excited about, and that is Tulane Bant. So, uh, in theory, the Brawl cards were designed for Brawl, not so much for Standard, but some of them, Tulane in specific, I think might be good enough for Standard. So this is my attempt at chulaining it up. Basically, Bant value, reusing your stuff, some weird combo type finishes, and I'm super excited for this deck. It draws a lot of cards, generates a lot of value, and then hopefully finds a way to win eventually. So a quick reminder before we break down Chulane Bant for standard. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Much of Brew in general, it would be amazing of you. If you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Chulain Bat, starting with Chulain Teller of Tales. And this is the reason we're playing the deck. Yes, I know it's only a 2 of, but it's kind of expensive, it's legendary, and our deck draws a lot of cards. So hopefully we will find it eventually. And really, Chulain isn't necessarily something we want to run out on turn 5. We kind of want to stable the board, play Chulain, and then Chulain is like our finisher. It essentially can lock our opponent out of the game with some really sweet loot. So uh, how this works is you get a two for a vigilance, whatever. It's not really an attacker. Whenever we cast a creature spell, we essentially get a risen reef trigger. We get to draw a card and we put a land from our hand into play. That land becomes play untapped if we wanted to. And then we can pay three to bounce one of our own creatures back to our hand. So what we're trying to do with Chulain is get to the late game, get a bunch of mana and essentially use it to reuse our creatures with enter the battlefield triggers over and over again. Another backup plan for this is Teferi, which works really well with Chulain. Teferi lets us pick up our own creatures with its bounce ability, plus it protects our Chulain from counter spells, lets us set things up, but really the locks we're trying to set up. The easiest one, and probably my favorite one, is Agent of Treachery. Chulain, Agent of Treachery with 10-ish eh, mana, which I know sounds a lot, but like I said, Chulain's a late game plan, and we do have a lot of ramp in the deck. But if we can get that set up, we can play Agent of Treachery, steal our opponent's thing, use Chulain to bounce Agent of Treachery. Of course, we also get the Chulain trigger, so we draw a card, we can put a land into play if we have one, but then use Chulain, bounce Agent of Treachery, then the next turn, we can replay Agent of Treachery. So essentially for 10 mana, we can pay three to bounce Agent, replay Agent, steal our opponent's best thing. So once the game goes long, even if we're just stealing our opponent's land every turn, we are just eating away their resources, grinding them out of the game, plus we can still planeswalkers, creatures, whatever we want. Agent has anything. So that's kind of lock number one. A cheaper lock, which is also really effective, is Frilled Mystic. Frilled Mystic, just a creature that counters something when it comes into play. So if we have seven mana, we can bounce our Frilled Mystic with Chulain, replay Frilled Mystic to counter something, get our Chulain trigger, draw a card, put a land into play, etc, etc, etc. Do that again every turn. And that is even more devastating if you have to ferry out, since our opponent can't really interact or counter back. So that kind of becomes a hard lock in late game when our opponent's in top deck mode, opponent draws our card for a turn, we just Frilled Mystic it, bounce Frilled Mystic, do it again the next turn, opponent draws, we Frilled Mystic it, do that until we eventually beat our opponent down with our underpowered, janky, enter the battlefield stuff. We also have some good removal creatures for Chulain. Brazen Borrower, Deputy of Attention, so Deputy just snags stuff off the battlefield, a nice catch-all, really good against tokens with Chulain, and also because of Chulain, we can run out Deputy and get a so-so target early game, knowing that Chulain can bounce it back to our hand, do it again late game. Brazen Borrower, really sweet with Chulain, we can bounce something, then we can flash in Brazen Borrower to get our Chulain trigger, and then Chulain can bounce Brazen Borrower, then we can bounce something else, flash it in, get another Chulain trigger, so another sweet, essentially enter the battlefield creature, even though it's like split up into two parts to work with Chulain. Then we have a couple of Hydroid Crosses. We already draw a lot of cards in this deck, but it's hard to pass up. We make a lot of mana. Hydroid Crosses, good way to dig through a deck, find Chulain. With Chulain, we can bounce it, do it every turn. Then we have Knight of Autumn, a nice catch-all, again, gaining life if we we need it against aggro, being big if we want it to be, blowing up artifacts and enchantments really good against the Esper stack stack that people are playing a lot right now, uh, so repeatedly just sniping a, a random egg, a doom foretold, whatever, every single turn, very devastating when Chulain 
as far as our ramp plan, here we have some elementals, Risen Reef, Leaf Kim Druid, work well together. Risen Reef gives us even more card draw with Julane, Paradise Druid for the early game. Tamiyo Collector of Tales basically just gets pieces back from the graveyard. Also really effective against the Doom Foretold deck because it makes it so our opponent stuff can't make us sacrifice. So even though they're still gonna get the Doom Foretold trigger because we can't sacrifice, it's not going to just sit out and eat away our board every single turn. So I like Tamiyo as an answer to Doom Foretold, which is pretty popular right now since so it just want to turn it. Mana base, bunch of dual, dual lands, Temple of Mystery, some Fabled Passages, some basic lands. In the sideboard, Veil of Summer, Dovin's Veto for control. Tamiyo also mostly for control, or at least grindy matchups. Time Wipe, Aether Gust for the aggro matchups. Mass Manipulation, we make a lot of mana, we can steal a lot of things. Return to Nature, a little bit of Graveyard Hate with our Artifact and Enchantment Hate. One Graph Digger's Cage in case we run into like Phoenix style decks, uh, Mass Reanimation decks. And that is Tulane Bat for Standard. And that's our money a brew deck for this week so we are going all the way to value trial and try to just draw a lot of cards eventually win by beating down with risen reefs ancient of treacheries but really the main plan is to steal as much of our stone's stuff as possible make them as miserable as possible and uh hopefully even maybe win a game or two so let's see how chile does in standard thank you for watching i hope you enjoy the gameplay and i'll be back in a bit with a wrap up all right much brew about nothing time we are playing some brawl in standard <laughs> playing chilane bant and yeah we don't have a chilane but this hand's fine we get to ramp into frilled mystic brazen borrower yeah yeah seems reasonable chilane would put it into overdrive but good enough uh land goo chilane's more of a late game threat anyway or mid game at least see what our opponent's up to Breeding pool. Um, all right, play a forest. Paradise Druid. Opponent, you gonna force a will? <laughs> okay, once, once upon a time, bought it. Yeah, it is the first spell, so it is free. Does it get anything reasonable? It gets a Brine Born Cutthroat. Yep. Opponent plays an island. Passes. Well, breeding pool. Pass the turn. Uh, there's a cutthroat. We'll just build Mystic. Force our advantage. Get a clock on the battlefield. In this matchup, I think our main plan is just to go over the top of our opponent. Uh, all right, let's think about this. Hollowed Fountain, untapped. Go to combat. Get in with Frilled Mystic. Opponent takes it. Down to 17. And, yeah, we'll just pass. Growth Spiral for our opponent. And a tap land. Yep. Uh, opponent. Another land. And. Uh, Alright, passes back. Well, go to combat. Get in with Frilled Mystic. Hit our opponent. Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. I mean, maybe we're just winning with this Frilled Mystic beatdown. If our opponent doesn't do anything, like. They might just have a handful of counter spells that are not doing much. Opponent, pass it again. Well, go to combat. This time we're gonna attack with both. Spectral Sailor, okay. Opponent, you're gonna block Paradise Druid, sure. Down to 11. Well, we will play another Paradise Druid. Opponent sabotages. Okay, well, let's see if they have a spell pierce, I guess, or something. Uh, Teferi. Freeze out. I know. And Teferi should be pretty good against our opponent's Trust deck. Me, I have a plan. 
land go. All right, opponent. Got to play it fair. Got to play it your turn. Cannot do it. Scoops it up. Well, we didn't get to Tulane, but we still took down one of the more annoying decks in standard pretty convincingly. Uh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Simic Flash. Yeah, Teferi, very good against Simic Flash, for sure. Uh, all right, so what do we want against Simic Flash? We don't actually have a ton in the sideboard for this matchup. We might be doing mostly the same thing. I mean, I guess Veil of Summer seem really good. Going down, like, Agent of Treachery, Agent of Treachery, maybe Knight of Autumn, and... Huh, what else? Maybe... All right, go down one more Agent of Treachery. Let's try it like that. Well, game one went well. We're going to be on the draw for game number two, so we'll see. I think... Basically, Night of Autumn Hell, or <laughs> Veil of Autumn, Veil of Summer. Oh my god, I'm mixing up all the card names. Night of Autumn, Veil of Summer. Alright, there we go. Uh, it does help, but I think um, we mostly just want to play through, got to play through what our opponent's doing. Well, Fabled Passage, go. Opponent, Forest, well, crack, Fabled Passage. Grab an Island. Man is a little rough here. Uh, breeding pool's not bad. Let's breeding pool, untap, leaf kindred. All right, opponent's got a cutthroat. Sure, sure, sure. Island, opponent passes. Well, hollowed fountain, untapped. And pass the turn. Growth Spiral. Um, yeah, I think we just counter that. Get down our clock. What you got, opponent? Land passes. Ooh, this I kind of like. Let's go to combat. Attack with Frilled Mystic. Opponent takes it. Play to Fairy. Opponent negates. Well, we will Veil of Summer. We got another one? Okay. So, opponent has a Brimeborn Cutthroat, but we emptied our opponent's hand of counters. We still have to fairy double braze a borrower at hand, so we're still in pretty fine shape. Opponent gets in. Sure. Get in there, opponent. You do you. And. Opponent plays a land. Two cards in hand. Oh, another borrower. That's good news. Well, get in with Frilled Mystic. Opponent. Drops to 14. Well, we will... Play to fairy. Got another one? Oh, desperation goes viral. Okay, trying to find a counter. Can they do it? That's the question. Land into play. One card in hand. Resolves to fairy. Show remorse. Uh, I I'll think we reset this cutthroat. That's make you play like fair, it. and that might just be the game. That might just be the game. Ponet. Let's do some main phase play there, Simic Flash. Ponet plays another land. Find more cutthroat. Uh -huh. Well, end of turn. We will go thieving. Bounce that. Untap. Take up to fairy. And yeah, I feel like we're where we want to be this. now. Get it. Phil Mystic. Hit our opponent to 11. And yeah, to fairy's just so good against our opponent's deck. We haven't got to Chilane at all, but opponent scoops it up. Well, not the most Chilane of matchups. Still, a uh, pretty impressive performance for Bant. Bam, bam, bam. Sweet, sweet. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are playing some Bant Chilane. Cool. And we have our Chilane. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Turn two ramp. Turn three to fairy. Turn four Chilane, hopefully. Or turn two ramp. Turn three to fairy. Turn four Chilane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Fable Passage. Go. Well. We got a plan. We'll see if we can execute. See what our opponent's up to. All right. Over on Tomb Tapped. 
I feel like our opponent has Once Upon a Time. It feels like they have a card they can cast. We will grab a... Oh, boy. Uh, I guess we take an island. Yeah, let's take an island. Ooh, agent. Well, if we get to agent, life is really good. Paradise Druid. Once Upon a Time. See if they actually have it. Ooh, no Once Upon a Time yet. All right, opponent untaps. Forest. And passes. Well, hmm. Let's just Temple Garden untapped. To fairy. <laughs> they do have the Once Upon a Time. Opponent was just waiting as long as possible. Gets a Murderous Rider. Wildborn Preserver. Huh. I can okay, well, stand uh, by and watch. You? Here we go. No attacks. We wanted to bounce anyway because of this murderous rider that can kill Teferi. It's on for our opponent. Let's see if Teferi dies. I mean, if we untap with this flame, life is insane. Alright, there the goes Teferi. We draw. Hmm. Well, on that case, Teferi. I Paradise Druid. This one out. Take up to Fairy. Now there's a chance if no, we draw a land, we can chlane and immediately Leaf Kid. Or I guess we could just Agent of Treasury a land. Either one of those are pretty good. Questing Beast. Now let's see what we draw. We would like to just hit a land here, would be ideal. I won't it's let the you win. Paradise Druid. Hmm. Well, take up to Fairy. Here goes nothing. Play Paradise Druid. Play Leafkin Druid. No attacks. So I guess Tulane's gonna have to come down after this agent taking Questing Beast, I think. Bone it. Gets in. We are down to eight for the time being. This is hardly my worst defeat. And, what's the follow up? Nothing. Well, okay. Um. Agent of Treachery. And I think we take Questing Beast. Get in with Questing Beast. Yeah, that's fine. Pony had to kill their own Questing Beast. We will accept that. Once upon a time. This time for full price. Ooh, boy. All right. All right, all right. Let's draw land. Let's draw land for this Chulain plus Knight of Autumn. Opponent gets a forest. Plays it. Now we've gone through two murderous riders. Opponent plays Paradise Druid. Four cards in hand. That's a land. So play the island. Play Chulane. Play. Knight of Autumn. Draw a card from Chulane. Um, put the counters on it. Get in with Agent. Well, all right, opponent. You're going to need to kill this Tulane, or else we get to start doing insane things. If Tulane lands, we get to start bouncing Agent of Treachery and recasting it every turn, and uh, that's a good way to win Magic games. <laughs> we had to put Knight as a 4-4 in case there was another Questing Beast. We're down to 8, so there is concern. All right, Legion's end. That is annoying. That is a, a three for one for our opponent. Not a big fan of that. All right, opponent. What you got? Hardcast Murderous Rider. Apply to Fairy. Sorry, I'm late. Bounce Paradise Druid. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Go to combat. Get in with Knight of Autumn. Opponent takes it. Pass the turn. Brazen Borrower's not bad. That's another way to not lose to a questing beast. Opponent, once upon a time. Once upon a time, I don't know. I don't know about it in standard. Like, it's nice when you get to cast it for free. When you're casting it for two mana, it's not super scary. Voracious Hydra. What you got, opponent? Murderous Rider. 
opponent. Bazin. Well. Let's bounce. Yeah, let's just bounce Knight of Autumn since we know we can recast it. Bounce Knight of Autumn. Untap. Play Leaf Kindrew and draw a card. Land into play. Play Knight of Autumn. Draw a card. Uh, counters on Knight of Autumn. To fairy, tick it up. Let's try this. Pass the turn. Oh, uh, maybe we should have shocked ourselves and played the land untapped. I don't know. Close, close, close. I still like where we're at. Like, as long as this two lanes stays out, we're in really good shape. Like, we will just outvalue our opponent. That's what Chilane does. Don't really want to bounce a murderous rider with Brazen Borrower. <laughs> Seems like a less than ideal plan. Voracious Hydra. Are you going to fight though? Uh, all right, let's just Brazen Borrower the Hydra. Opponent passes, another Teferi. Well, take up Teferi. I've got time. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could bounce and replay Agent, but what are we really stealing? I guess just a land? We could also Brazen Borrower I think I like this plan. I think I like cast Brazen Borrower. Ugh, we don't have enough blue mana for that. All right. Well, in that case, Shalane, bounce, Agent of Treachery. Replay Agent of Treachery, draw a card. Steal a land. No attacks. I mean, until our opponent stops this, we get to just do this every turn. I guess they can replay their Hydra and kill Agent to shut down that lock, but then we have Frilled Mystic for the following turn. Like, this is the kind of board state we're looking to get into with Tulane, where when Tulane is out, we're just drawing extra cards, we're doing this, like, tricky locky type stuff, and eventually just, wow, Paradise Druid, okay. And Paradise, par opponents just trying to develop their mana, sure. Pass, oh my god, Risen Reef. Um, hmm. Well, take up to Fairy. This might be a bad idea. Uh, I think we're going. Uh, we're going to town here. Play a Risen Reef. Get some triggers. Oh my God! Another one. Uh, yeah. Let's let's keep going. We gotta trust that we're gonna hit a land, right? Risen Reef. Trigger, trigger, ugh. All right, into play, scry. Temple Garden, yeah, whatever. Into play, hmm. Why do we have a Temple of Malady? Um, one, two, three, four. Well, one, two, three. Shulane, pick up Leaf can Druid. Replay Leaf can drew it. Trigger, trigger, trigger. And all right. Uh, no attacks. I guess that's. I guess that's all for this turn. We will discard. Um, good God. I guess to fairy. We have like too many good cards. All right, opponent. I mean, this is this is what we're trying to do. We're just going through our deck halfway through already. Eleven cards ahead of our opponent. I think. Even counting, what, three Once Upon a Times? All right. And now we have more than enough mana to keep Agent of Treachery if we want to. I assume our opponents, ooh, great match, okay. Well, thankfully we have an answer for that. Actually, we have a handful of answers for that. Uh, answer one, to Fairy, bounce Great Henge. I guess we could have oh, one Great Henge, but I think this is also fine. Uh, now we will, wow. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's really go to town here. Um, Risen Reef. Put a land into play. Tap. Get a million triggers. Agent of Treachery. Leave Kindred. We do have to make sure we don't mill ourselves. Frilled Mystic. 
breeding pool untap down to eight. Go to combat. Yeah, we gotta attack. Attack with Knight of Autumn. And I don't see how this hand loses. Opponent double blocks, gains a bit of life. Yup. And now I think we actually... One, two, three. Deputy of Detention. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Still in combat, sure that resolves. We will Deputy of Detention. Draw a card, land, uh, tap. Snagbolt Paradise drew it. And uh, yeah, pass the turn. We'll discard a Chilane and a Hydroid Crosses. Oh, so much value. <laughs> Phonic, Plastic Beast. Sure, that's a good attempt. We will Frilled Mystic. We will draw a card. An opponent. They're done, they're done, they're done. And that is what Chilade could do. When it sits out, it is just a insane wall of value. Uh, almost unbeatable wall of value. The way our opponent beats it is killing it. But uh, if they can't kill it, things go very bad for them very quickly. Uh, all right, opponent's playing green, black stuff. Um, I think we want Ether Gus and maybe Time Wipes. Going down, going down what? Maybe we go one Time Wipe, go one Tamio. The Planeswalkers are a little sketchy since they, they do tend to die to Questing Beast, which is an annoyance. Maybe we just trim, trim across the board, run it like that. Well, that was a really sweet Chulane performance. And I think we probably could have even done more with the bouncing and replaying. We could have like aggressively went after lands, but we just didn't need to. We drew so many cards and we're just in such a dominant position that there was almost no way for that to go wrong. By the time we had like double frilled Mystic, there's so many lands. Don't need to figure out why there's a Temple of Malady though. There, I'm assuming it was supposed to be a Temple of Mystery and somehow I misclicked and put a one Temple of Malady because I uh, definitely do not need a Temple of Malady in this deck. But that felt pretty good. Oh, Chilane is so sweet when you attack with it. <laughs> Ooh, it's gotta be one of the sweetest cards. I was gonna say creatures, but one of the sweetest cards in standard. If you get to untap with it, it can get out of control really fast. We are on the draw here for game number two. Wow. All right. I guess we just chew land our opponent right out of their will to live. I think after that performance where we just absolutely ground them into oblivion with two lane, I think they literally just quit playing magic. <laughs> Oh, that is a side of a good deck. You know when you beat your opponent so so badly with one and two powered creatures and card draw that they don't even come back for game two. You know that that really counts as a win. That is <laughs> that is Chilane doing Chilane things to the max. Eh, okay. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Alright. Much brew about nothing time. Ugh. We are Bant Chilaning in standard, and that sounds pretty fine. We got a Risen Reef. What could uh, what could be better than drawing some cards? Uh, the question is, what do we put to the bottom? It's probably just gonna be Fable Passage. Yeah, and then hopefully we run to Chulane, and then life is really good. Yeah, we'll keep. Uh, Fable Passage to the bottom. Temple of Mystery, Scry into. <laughs> what is better than one Risen Reef? <laughs> Uh, you probably know the answer. It is two. I have seen many games of standard that are seemingly won, and lo won or lost by someone playing two Risen Reefs in a row. We're going to run out the Leafkin. Since we have two Risen Reefs, I think this is fine. Opponent to the top and sending a message with the goose. Hmm. I think we're actually gonna wait. Play to fairy. I'm known for my bounce the key. Here we go. I f and you know what? Boom! If you attack us with your gilded goose, we'll attack you with our leafkin druid. 
<laughs> Message being sent him. Oh. Oh, now we lose our Teferi? Okay. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. I mean, we weren't going to block with Leafkin anyway. Teferi with one counter is not that valuable. Let's Opponent broaden gets it. your existence. Hits Teferi. Kills Teferi. This is hardly my worst defeat. Um, hmm. I'll play Risen Reef. See if we can hit a land. We will decline. We will draw Fable Passage. We will play Fable Passage. We will crack Fable Passage. <clears throat> we will grab a island. Play a Paradise Druid. And pass the turn. All right. I like where we're at. Opponent. Going to make some food. Getting a, get a little hungry over there. We would like our Risen Reef to live. Ooh, well, all right, it's not going to. There goes our Risen Reef. Boo, boo and his. Well, we still have another one. Opponent gets in for three, no blocks. We draw a Temple Garden. So, play Risen Reef, get a trigger. All right. The food are gonna keep coming. What is our best plan here? Let's just play Temple Garden tapped. Pass the turn, leave up Brazen Borrower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can cast a pretty big, but not insanely big. Another wicked wolf. Opponent's all about them wolves. Well, now we need to. Bounce the wolf. Still, we're taking a big beating from these food tokens. Maybe our opponent will trade the food for Risen Reef? It is pretty scary to let us just keep drawing cards. All right, animates the food, goes attacking. Surely you see the humor here. Yep. Well, that is what Oku does. We draw Paradise Druid, so, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's just. Oh, crosses for five. I feel like we're about to die. I think we got to play to fairy. I know. To fairy. Bounce of food. I've got it. Forest. Play the forest. Hmm. Paradise druid. Past the turn. Not a big fan of where we're at, though. Oku coming down on turn two is really good. Also, Wicked Wolf is surprisingly obnoxious. That just keeps sniping our creatures. Opponent gonna make a food with Oko. We know Remember, there's another wolf an coming. There's the Wicked Wolf. Gone. Going to fight our Risen Reef. Yup. Opponent. Attacks our phase. We got a block. Um, uh, we'll just we will block here. Brazen borrower. We drop to three. Another borrower. Well, I guess we cross this X four. Draw a couple cards. Gain a couple life. Land, land. Land, land's not super helpful. Take up to fairy. Breeding no, I pool. I am not making this up as I go. Combat. Hit Oko. Yeah, Oko's just kind of run away with this game. I mean, I guess that's not 100% true. You? Oko and double Wicked Wolf. Like, that much food synergy is running away with this game. Untap land for our opponents. Nissa who shakes the world. Through this land, we are all connected. Ha. Huh. Is there any way we get out of this? Opponent's gonna have a million attackers. Harness the elements. Yup. Yup. I mean, I think we get to survive Let's the turn. Resistance. But I don't think we get to actually win from here. We have to block, block, block. And then Brazen Borrower 
bounce the unblocked oak and drop to two. What could we draw that would be relevant? Is there anything? Pwnit, Abriel Grazer, and a goose. Uh, Grazer's so bad. Uh, there's a the goose. To fairy, and let's see. Bounce this. Oh, man. All right, well, take up to fairy. I think we're dead here. Take up to fairy. Play to fairy. Might be a bad idea. Keep a new to fairy. Brazen Barber can't block, remember. Right on schedule. To fairy, bounce the land. Let's try this. Agent of Treachery. Would have been good earlier. Well, all right. Well, that's what a early Oku with double Wicked Wolf can do. Scary, scary, bad, bad. Uh, bring in the two Ether Gusts, bring in the two Mass Manipulations, and Veil of Summer. Uh, 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 uh. Um, go down Night of Autumn. Go down one Tamio. Trim a Paradise Druid, and yeah, I guess one Teferi, run it like that. All right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. That didn't feel great. We just kind of got instantly run over. That, Oku, I have found, it's, it seems good almost all the time, but it is especially insane with the Gilded Goose draw. That's when, that's when Oku is, huh, just absolutely absurd. Turn two Oku, you get to immediately start attacking with three threes and do it every turn. That is, that is when Oku's great. When it comes down fairly on turn three, it's still a strong planeswalker, but it is a lot less scary. At least somewhat less scary. Let's see if our opponent's got the goose draw. All right, starting with the scry land. So it looks like a fairer Oku draw. This mass manipulation could be sweet eventually. We still need more blue mana, but. All right, Frilled Mystic, I do like that. Tap land, go. Well, I mean, Risen Reef into Frilled Mystic, into Crossus into Manipulation, that seems like the kind of thing that could win a game. Opponent, untap land, passes. Mm. Yeah, let's just Risen Reef. Risen Reef, get a trigger. The untap land makes me think our opponent maybe has negate. I guess it could also be like Grow Spiral. Ether Gust, I don't mind. What you got, opponent? Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. Also, don't mind that. More lands are uh, is good for us. We'll grab an island since we're trying to get to this mass manipulation. Pass the turn. All right, this is things are shaping up, opponent. There is the Oka. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. And makes food. Surely you must be famished. Hmm. Let's play to fairy. Trust me. You'll Bounce the later. food draw That's guard. More like it. Pass the tur. Leave up Ether Gust and Brazen Borrower. And we're getting close to some Yoinkage, potentially. Bonic, Forest, Wicked Wolf. Um, hmm. Okay, let's let that resolve and just Ether Gust Oko. Yeah, opponent gets a wolf. Nothing to fight. We will take up to fairy. I've got time. Temple of mystery. Well, we are a true lane deck. I don't think we can. I don't think we cannot keep true lane. Pass the turn. We will let to fairy die to leave up frilled mystic if our opponent attacks it. Nissa is the scariest thing that could happen here. Opponent untap land Nissa. All right, that works. Frilled mystic. Counter you, Nizza. Counter you. And now we actually have a blocker for our Teferi as well. That is about as good as that could go. Phone it passes. We draw two lane. I'll play a forest. Take up Teferi. Don't worry. I got this. Play two lane. Get in with Frilled Mystic. Opponent down to 13, pass the turn, and we are getting close to where we want to be. Very close. This has went much better than game one. Opponent Gilded Goose, okay. Gonna make some food for the Wicked Wolf. Opponent Combat. Gets in it to Fairy. Um, yeah, let's 
Let's bounce it. Although I guess this lets our opponent kill Chulane, which isn't ideal. Ha. Huh. Alright, there's a Wicked Wolf. Opponent can sack the food in response. Eh, that might have been a pun. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels like a bit of a mistake, maybe. Well, let's cross this for five. Draw some cards. Temple of Mystery. We will keep more mass manipulations. We will... Take up to Fairy, get in with Frilled Mystic. Next turn, we can double Yoink, potentially. Opponent, more untapped lands. Murderous Rider. Mm hmm. And Oku. Well, this is actually pretty fun. I will fine. invert the world to watch kings grovel. And welcome to the. Opponent makes a food. Unless their last card is Veil of Autumn. Veil of Summer. Then we're good. Oh, and it gets in, kills our Teferi. We will meet again. Well, we untap. Manipulation. X2. We will take you and also you. Yoink, yoink. And then we will make a food. One bite. Go to combat, and get it with Frilled Mystic. Gone. Who has the Oko now? <laughs> Oh, I'm still wishing we didn't let our Chulane die, but opponent, down to three. Land. Scries. I mean, they can play the Murderous Rider, but they are in dire straits. To the bottom. This one unknown card has got to be really good. Opponent going to make a food. I guess they can gain life with the food. Opponent, done. Done, done, done. All right. That was better. We got a little bit loose with our Chulane there, but... Oh, life is a little easier when Oko doesn't come down until until uh, turn three. Eh, all right, run it like that. That worked well. Gonna be on the draw here. I am definitely very scared of the Goose Oko draw. Whew. Nightmares. Gonna have nightmares about that. It's weird. We could play Goose, but then I think we'd have to play Oko, and then we'd be cutting a lot of our other stuff, so I don't know. Maybe it's worth trying to find a way to slot that package into this deck. Wicked Wolf's kind of cute, since we can bounce it and fight with it. Like, maybe a maybe a food version of Bant Shalane could be good. All right. Opponent's on the play for game number three. Can we keep the good times going with Shalane? Uh, we cannot keep this hand. We will mulligan. All right, we will keep this hand. We will put... Ugh, what to the bottom? It's got to be agent or mass manipulation. Yeah, I guess agent. All right, we will see. Opponent. Forest. Use. Uh-oh. Oko. Oh, my God, and we draw it anyway. All right, pass the turn. Well, uh, no, Oko, please. All right, we dodged the Oko, thankfully. Crack Fable Passage. Take a forest, so we got Leafkin, Druid, Mana. The Goose is still good, though. That can get Wicked Wolf down a turn early. Grab a forest, Bonek, to the bottom. No, oh, land, Leafkin, go. All right, no wolf, no wolf, no wolf. Bonek, we need this mana. Land, no wolf, I see. Our opponent's thinking about Goose Egg. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, there's a wolf. All right, can we draw land? Can we draw land? No. Oh, boy. Well, this is kind of the nightmare scenario for our deck. Bone it. More lands. Baraska. Wherever I go, I leave bodies in my way. Kills our leaf kid. I grow bored with this fight. Well... Without getting more lands, we are definitely not going to win. Down to 15. Not a land. All right. Well. Huh. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yikes. Well, I guess we were about due to have some bad running. We just could not hit a land to uh, play our game, and our opponent had two removal spells to take down our mana dork, so. Yeah. Rough. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are brawling in standard, playing some Bant Chulane, my kind of value -y pile. <laughs> uh, yeah, see what our opponent's up to. 
This deck is so sweet when it gets going. The challenge is, does it get going? It, it can be slow. We got some okay defense, but still have some tendency to get run over once in a while. We do get a lot of ramp though. Um, all right. I mean, we're on the draw, but this hand's fine. We get some bounce for the early game, Risen Reef to Fairy. Opponent, Once Upon a Time. I am honestly a bit amazed how popular Once Upon a Time is in standard. Uh, Temple of Mystery. Leaf Kin Druid. Eh, we'll keep it. Uh, opponent. Forest passes. Well, untap land. Leaf Kin Druid. Opponent runs out the cutthroat. Island for our opponent. Um, hmm. How do we want to do this? Well, that's just breeding pool tapped. Pass the turn. Ooh, opponent does nothing. Okay. Now we can try to maybe force our opponent's action with Brazen Borrower and hopefully resolve a three drop as a result. Opponent, no attacks. Untap land. Um, hmm. All right, untap. Play a forest. Play Risen Reef. Oh, okay. Quench, we will pay. Got another one? Resolves. That's good. Frilled Mystic. All right. That's good. That's good. We got our Risen Reef down. We weren't intentionally playing around Quench, but we'll take it. <laughs> Bonus. Gets in. Starting the beats. Sure. We wouldn't mind lands. Frilled Mystic. Well, go to combat. Get in with a Risen Reef. Yes, that's what we wanted. Oh, the blowouts. This is the dream. Opponent runs out Night Pack Ambusher. But we get to... Oh, boy, this is so good for us. We get to Brazen Borrower to bounce the Ambusher. Yup. Oh, this might just be game. Bounce the Ambusher. We get in for one. And then we get to resolve to Fairy. Which shuts down our opponent's shenanigans to fairy bounce. Bryborn cut throw board is clear. Pass the turn. Oh, that was that was a huge swing. Opponent gotta run it out main phase. No options, no choices. To fairy going to tick up. We will play an you. untap land. We will we will brazenly borrow ambusher. Brazen Borrower is pretty good. Go to combat. Get it. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Now we have Frilled Mystic, and we're getting close to Agent of Treachery. Ambusher. Eh, I say no. I say no. Are we done yet, opponent? Are we done? Are we done, Simic? Counter it. Untap land. Once upon a time. Feels a little desperate. Opponent passes. Oh my god, another Risen Reef. And opponent is done, 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 done. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Simic Flash, that was a good try. Good attempt, I would say, from Simic Flash. Now we get to bring in uh, three Veil of Summers, and I think that's most of what we, maybe, maybe Time Wipe is worth it. Could also bring in Vetoes if we really wanna try to fight the counter war. I think in this matchup, main goal is just to make a lot of mana and basically play through the counters is our plan. Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta do a little trimming. We probably do need time wipe. It's especially good with Teferi. We can go down one Tamiyo, Dovin's Veto. Yeah, let's just run it like that. I mean, with the soft counters like Quench, if we make enough mana, we can just kind of uh, not care. As we saw in that game, we had enough mana to pay for the Quench and that was... That was a big swing in our favor, and Brazen Borrower is uniquely effective against what our opponent's trying to do. All right, little mana light, but we'll try this. Opponent, Fable Passage, cracks it. I guess we could technically play Once Upon a Time in this deck. Land, go. Island for our opponent. Well, we'll crack our Fable Passage. Gotta grab a forest because of our mana dorks. Get a forest. Untap, more forest. Well, play it. Yeah, now I wish we grabbed something else. Uh, play Paradise Druid. Okay. Opponent runs out the Preserver. Island. And opponent passes. Well, play the forest. Leaf Kin Druid. Opponent plays Spectral Sailor. 
All right, so then we'll just bounce preserver. Our mana's still awkward, with our only blue source being this paradise druid. Opponent, untap land. Come on, blue source. That's what we really want. Opponent. Passes. Oh, God. Well, all right. We don't really have a choice but to play Teferi. There's the frilled mystic. Yeah, this mana, this blue screw is going to be an issue here. We have two, two frilled mystics of our own, but without the blue mana to do anything with them. Opponent gets in. Uh-oh. Down to 16. Opponent passes. I'll well, try again. Teferi. Frilled mystic. And... All right. Opponent, they got us. Yeah, awkward, awkward mana choices. That is one of the downsides of Fabled Passage is it's not a dual land. And we saw there, we ended up getting uh, fairly punished for just uh, for our mana. Not having double blue for our Frilled Mystics, or we could have done what our opponent was doing. Thankfully, on the play for game three is where we want to be. That lets us theoretically get down a mana dork before our opponent can. Well, this hand's pretty good. Before our opponent can counter it. So we get, well, let's see what's on top of our deck. Okay, opponent, once upon a time, finds a Brazen Borrower. We get our own Brazen Borrower. Um, hmm, do we want to keep it? Are we going to hit our land? Yeah, we're going to keep it. All right, keep Brazen Borrower. Opponent, undaps. Forest passes. Well, we will play our Leafkin Druid. Pass the turn. When am I drawing our Veil of Summers? Veil of Summer would be very nice. Opponent, Island. And passes. Well, Temple Garden. And I think we're actually just going to Hydroid Crosses X2. Gonna counter it? Okay, bounces Leaf can do it. Hmm. Not a land. This land pinch is definitely scary. Opponent, Island. Passes. Ooh, there's a land. So play Fabled Passage. Go to combat. Get in with crosses. Hit our opponent. Um, replay Leaf Kindruid. Pass the turn. The end game that we're trying to opponent runs out, Brazen Borrower. The end game that we're trying to work towards is is this uh, Teferi. Getting down to Teferi is very good against our opponent's deck. Opponent gets in, hits us, 16. Um, well, untapped, do we draw land? We do, I like that. Breeding pool, untapped. Um, hmm, Risen Reef. Opponent runs out a Cutthroat. Resolves. Trigger. We get Paradise Druid. Um, all right, pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Fabled Passage. Cracks it. I feel like we're still in very good shape though. Forest untaps. Double green for Werewolf Lord thing. Opponent combat. Passing. Hmm, all right, untap. We will start with Risen Reef for all the fun. Risen Reef. Resolves, double trigger, to fairy, risen reef, well, breeding pool. I mean, I guess we just keep going. Risen reef, number three. That is a lot of card advantage. Resolves, three triggers. Let's get some lands this time. There's a land. Tap. Land. Oh, that's good. Land tapped. One more. One more. Land. All right. All right, all right. That is where we want to be. That is exactly where we're hoping to be. No attacks. Now we have a ton of mana for next turn. And we're not in immediate danger of dying. There's an ambusher. Yup. So that resolves, but we crack our fabled passage. Take a island. Untaps. Brazen borrower. Bounce the Ambusher. 
All right, and Teferis are coming, along with Agent of Treacheries, and we got Trips Risen Reef, so if we draw, man, we're getting to the point where Tulane would be super good. Opponent scries to the top. All right, opponent, let's see it. Opponent passes. Well, one, two, three. Play Teferi. Nightmare for the Simic Flash deck. Wildborn Preserver, okay. Grows the Cutthroat. And Veil of Summer grows the cutthroat. And Quench. Well, we will pay for the Quench. I am not going to sit. We this will thing. bounce a Risen Reef. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. We will replay Risen Reef. Get a handful of triggers to fairy. Decline. Veil of Summer. Breeding Pool untapped. And pass the turn. What you got, opponent? Untap land. Three cards in hand. We got a million cards in hand. We just have to not die. That's a concern. Opponent, combat. Everything at Teferi. Well, we will block, 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 block. So, sadly, we lose all of our Risen Reefs, but they kind of did their job, opponent. Brazen Borrower. Uh, we will just Frill Mystic. Counter that. We really would like our Teferi to stay out. It's so good against our opponent's deck. Main phase Ambusher? Main phase ambusher, that's fine. We untap. One, two, oh man. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is gonna be good. Five, six, seven. This is probably game actually. Seven mana. We will agent of treachery. We will take night pack ambusher. We will take up to fairy. Don't worry. I got we will this. play another Teferi. Keep the new one. Stand by and watch. Bounce the cutthroat, like and that should be that should be the end of the end. And our opponent scoops it up, and apparently this deck is good against uh, good against Simic Flash. <laughs> got him, got him, got him. Well, that's good because Simic Flash is. Potentially a top tier deck moving forward in post rotation standard. And it's a deck that is annoying to lose to because of all the counter spells. So, yeah, uh, that worked pretty well. Brazen Borrower, plus our tricky stuff, and our card draw, and our amp, and a fairy. Good recipe. Good recipe. Sweet, sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are doing some more Bant Chulaining in standard. And, uh, yeah, Reef Reef seems reasonable. Reasonable enough, at least. Sometimes two Risen Reeves just soar to win the game on their own. Hollywood Fountain, well, Fabled Passage, go. See what our opponent is up to. Some sort of control deck, probably. Looks controlly. Crack Fabled Passage, grab a Forest. Untap, Knight of Autumn, well, Hollowed Fountain, Paradise Druid. Ugh. That's actually kind of bad since we don't have land number three. If we had our lands, we wouldn't be as worried about that. All right, that's a land. So play the land. Um, yeah, to fairy. Holy counters. Okay. So opponent's playing a counter spell tribal by the looks. Yeah, let's Risen Reef. Get a trigger. Get a land. Pass the turn. Not super worried about Dawn of Hope since we have this Knight of Autumn. We should be able to get rid of it eventually, or we can Brazen Borrow where it. Opponent, pass it. Now, oh, Breeding Pool, untapped. Um, uh, let's, uh, how do we want to do this? Let's Risen Reef, number two. Hope that it resolves. Oh boy, all right, it does resolve. Brazen Borrower. And land. Leave can do it. Well, that's not a land, but we'll play it. Amister's insight. That is also fine. Trigger, trigger. There's a land. 
and deputy detention. Not bad against a million tokens. Go attacking. Well, I'm expecting our opponent to have a, uh, a sweeper at some point. Maybe right now with Round Folk Giant. Whatever the adventure part of that is. Oh, Cavalier of Gales. Okay. Pretty fine with that. Opponent draws some cards. Puts back some cards. Not especially worried about losing to Cavalier. Opponent. Putting things back. One, two. Hmm. Well, now we're... Oh. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta crack this. This is not making mana yet. Now we're definitely not worried about losing to Cavalier of Gales. Grab an eyelid. Agent of Treachery. Yoink. Go attacking. Get our opponent. And, uh, what do you say, opponent? What do you say? No Tulane yet, but... Overwhelmed Apprentice. Okay. I have no idea what this deck is doing. Is it a mill deck? Two to the bottom. And to fairy. So if I can like bounce Cavalier of Gales, I guess. I'll show you. Let's well, try this. Draws a card. Plays a land. Cracks a land. We wouldn't mind hitting a Tulane. Tulane would be pretty sweet. Opponent passing. Frilled Mystic, eh? Hmm. <laughs> How do we want to do this? Would like to leave up Frilled Mystic. Would also like to kill Teferi. Well, we gotta kill Teferi. So I guess we just... Brazen Borrower. Bounce Overwhelmed Apprentice. This lets us go kill Teferi and hit our opponent. Man, Tulane would be sweet. Uh, yeah, two it Teferi, hit our opponent. Teferi Vandal. Alright, we lose a Risen Reef. Opponent loses this to Fairy. That's fine. Defeat. Um. Play. Paradise Druid. Pass the turn, leaving up our Frilled Mystic. I guess Risen Reef dying isn't actually the end of the world because. We can always cameo it back. Another Agent of Treacheries. And get more triggers. We do gotta be a little careful with uh, milling out. That is a concern here. We do wanna get a clock going at some point. Opponent, bottom, bottom. Cavalier. Well, now we will frill Mystic. Yes, please, counter that. Tap land. Opponent passes. Hmm. Now play the island, go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent. Gonna double block, all right. That must mean our opponent thinks they have a wrath coming. I'll hit our opponent. Play Tamio. Still haven't found Tulane. Let us have a storied battle. Tamio will get back Frilled Mystic. I have learned and pass the turn, opponent's at 16. Ancestors. Our only real concern is milling out. As long as we don't mill out, I feel like we're in a great position. Opponent plays a Teferi, well. Oh, yeah, we gotta counter that, because if we don't, we lose the ability to Frilled Mystic. Alright, so Frilled Mystic, counter to Fairy. Hope our opponent does not have a Wrath. Opponent, passing. Okay. Agent of Treachery. So go to combat. Attack, attack. Yes, alright. Opponent makes a Dawn of Hope, but that's fine. Yup, blocks Frilled Mystic, also fine. Now we get to play Brazen Borrower. Actually, no, let's just Agent of Treachery. Agent of Treachery. Take the Dawn of Hope. Take up Tamio. For Teferi. Get a Teferi. Yeah, play a Teferi. Take Let's up to Fairy, and no Tulane yet, but we are in pretty you. good shape. We haven't even milled a Tulane yet, but opponent, you got the wrath. There's the wrath. With the best animation on Magic Arena. Opponent passes. Uh, so. Hmm. Opponent has three cards, two mana. How do we close this out? Take up Seek for Agent of Treachery, I guess. 
Alright, mill a bunch of lands. Crosses for five. Draw a couple cards. Take up to fairy. Pass I've the got turn. Opponent, land. Three cards plus a chemistry's insight. We have 22 cards in our deck, which is a bit of a concern. Chemistry's insight. Opponent draws some cards. We might have to start stealing lands, honestly, with Agent of Treachery. Opponent. Are we passing? I'm gonna pass it. Ooh, Chulane. Huh. All right, how do we want to do this? Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. Hmm. I'm worried about drawing too many cards here, honestly. I think we just Tamio for Frilled Mystic. No tail should be discarded. Take up to Fairy. Has the go. turn. Because we can start flashing and brazen borrowers too to speed up our clock. Opponent plays a planes. And Fairy Vandal. Sure. Don't really care about that. Chemistry's insight. Oh, uh, sure. Not gonna fight that either. Yup. Grows a vandal. What you got about it? Brazen Barra. Um. Yeah, let's build Mystic that. Yup. Counter it. And this, I think, should be lethal. Opponent passes. We brazen borrower and opponent. Yup. We got him, we got him, we got him. Well, that is a, is this, I don't know, blue-white fairies? Blue-white something. I don't know exactly what our opponent's deck is. Uh, so I guess we just go Veil of Summer in, go down one Agent of Treachery, go down a Paradise Druid, and I guess like one Deputy? Yeah, we might need Deputy. We saw the... The token maker. I don't want to cut too much RAM. Oh, one of these days. One of these days, Julaid. One of these days. Um. Okay, we'll go down one deputy. That's fine. Run it like that. We can always reuse our stuff thanks to Chulane anyway. So hope, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. The yeah, opponent's deck is kind of unique. It's like blue, white. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's like control or tempo. It's kind of an interesting mixture. Some of the cards feel control-y, others feel more like tempo-esque. Eh, alright. We'll keep it. Island for our opponent. Well, start with the Scry land. Can't pass on a Risen Reef. <laughs> Never pass on a Risen Reef. Bought it. Planes. Passes. Ooh, does not pass Dawn of Hope. Well, breeding pool. Go. I mean, Dawn of Hope can get out of control if the game goes super long. Boning. We wouldn't mind just continuing to draw lands. That would make us happy. Opponent passes. Crosses. Well, Risen Reef. There's the counter. Land! We need a land! We need a land to play this Veil of Summer. Opponents passing. I'm gonna play an island. Play Risen Reef. Resolve. Alright, Teferi's nice, but we don't have the mana for it yet. It's a little awkward. Pass the dirt. Bone it. Makes a 1-1. One, one. Yup. Untaps. Fairy Vandal. Opponent. Getting in for one. Well, we'll take it. No blocks. Dawn of Hope. Gonna let our opponent draw a card. And pumps the fairy. Yup. Oh, we untap. Not a land, unfortunately. Hmm. Ugh. This does not feel great. Crosses for two. At least we finally hit a land. Play the land. No attacks. Bonet. Untaps. White mana is key. White mana does let us get down to fairy potentially, and to fairy super helpful here. Opponent plays to fairy. This isn't a fight you can win. Gonna bounce. Oh, I've Bounces done crosses. Okay, grows the fairy, draws a card. Gets in. No blocks. Opponent passes. Ooh, another land. All right, go to combat. A uh, kill to fairy. Step one. Only time will tell. Play. Huh. How do we want to do this? Interesting. 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 
If we play to fairy, we have to balance fairy vandal, but then we lose it to the token. We could just play a big crosses. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Play to fairy. I am not going to, to fairy. See this one bounce fairy vandal. There goes nothing. Play a forest. Yeah, pass the dirt. Well, the good news is we're getting up to the amount of mana that lets us Agent of Treachery. And Agent of Treachery is very good. Fairy Vandal for our opponent. Okay. Combat. Kills to Fairy. Sure. Well, uh, we if our opponent taps out to draw a card, and they might have to because they're not in their land drops. Okay. That is good. That is good. Grows the Fairy. Ooh, they landed Overwhelmed Apprentice. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Opponent. Mills, two pretty good cards, actually. Scries, one top, one bottom. Well, we untap. Breeding pool, untapped. Hmm. Oh, all right, let's just do it. Agent of Treachery. Steal the castle. No attacks. Oh, come on, Tulane. Opponent, getting in. Yup. Chemistry's insight, that is fine. And I feel like we're in pretty good control here. Once you're to the point where you're stealing lands with Agent, it's so good. Another Veil of Summer. Hmm. I think we play Tamio. Mystic Dispute. So we will Veil of Summer. Draw lands. Get Tamio. Play Fable Passage. Crack Fable Passage. Grab a island. Tamio. Get back Risen Reef. I follow the tracks of the wise. Play Risen Reef. Trigger, trigger. Get a land. And Night of Autumn. All right. Get in with. Actually, no. No attacks. No attacks. Passenger. All right. We're in good shape. We're in very good shape. We're a Tulane away from being in lock mode. Like, steal all of our opponent's lands and make them quit magic mode. And we will draw into it eventually. Oh, Tulane would be so insane here. We have enough mana to just, like, Tulane, pick up agent, replay agent, do it every turn, steal all your lands. Wow, opponent getting ferocious. We'll block the token. Drop to seven. Opponent can draw a card if they want. No card draw. Cavalier pick Well, I guess we also have to make sure we don't die to... We gotta make sure we don't die to flyers as well, I guess. Opponent cracks. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Mills a couple cards. Top, top. Temple of Mystery. Well, play Temple of Mystery, scry. Temple, garden to the bottom. Uh, yeah, tick up. Let me aid Agent of Treachery. I am a little worried about this Air Force. With. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's. Play. Crossus X6. Draw some cards. Get a big flyer. And pass the turn. No attacks. Discard a Paradise Druid. All right, we got some defense, hopefully. Potent plays a land. Combat. Everything attacks. So we will block, block, take six. Down to four. Planner cleansing. Um, yeah, sure. All stories must We're pretty okay with that. Our hand is good. Our hand is is very solid. Opponent puts Cavalier back, or shuffles it back, gets to scry. Both on top. Well, we untap. Hmm. How many cards? 25. Well, I guess we just play Tamio. 
The moon looks Take down Tamio for Teferi. The storied past holds our future. Play Teferi. Right Take up skin. Teferi. I've got time. Play a forest past the tur. Alright, opponent. Let's see it. Another planner cleansing, I guess, would be fine. Except we can Frilled Mystic at this time, so maybe it's not that good. I feel, even though we're almost dead, I feel like we've stabilized. Brazen Borrower. What is it targeting? Oh, it's just Creature? Oh, okay. Sure, 3-1. That's fine. Chemistry's Insight. Gonna draw some cards. Opponent passes. Um, yeah, let's just scry with our opponent's land. Lands to the bottom. Untap, Brazen Borrower. And let's cross this for six. Um, Teferi, tick up. No, I am not making this Tamio. up as I go. What are we trying to hit? Maybe it's Chulane time. Let's name Chulane. Tick up. To the library. Go for Chulane, which would just lock up the game once we hit it. Mill a bunch of stuff. Play Breeding Pool. Untap down to five. Pass the turn. Uh, discard a Paradise Druid. Huh? We are getting low on library. That is like 17 cards. That's not a ton. Opponent. Brazen Borrower. Eh, let's just fail the summer. And Realm Cloak Giant. And Pro Mystic. An opponent is done, scoops it up. We didn't find our Chulane, but pretty much just growled through the control deck pretty impressively. Yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Chulane Bant in Standard? And record-wise, we did pretty good. We played five matches, we won four of them, uh, only losing a single time to a Salt-type food deck. Ogo, that is uh, quite a magic card, especially when it's coming down early off Gilded Goose. But we took down Blue-White Control, we beat Simic Flash twice, we beat the Golgari, kind of just like play big good stuff and good removal. I guess Golgari mid-range, essentially. Uh, so the deck put up a really nice performance record-wise. Sadly, we didn't chillane people as much as I wanted. Like, the value of the deck came through, and you could see what the deck was doing. And we did have one game where we chillated our opponent so hard in game one. It was like a 20-minute game one, because we were just like, Chulane valuing through our entire deck, that our opponent just did the timeout thing, didn't even come back for game number two, we just made them quit magic with Chulane value, so I'm happy that we at least had one game where we just really showed what Chulane could do, but really, the deck felt good, it's got a lot of value, it's got an insane amount of value, it's got powerful cards, Age of Treachery is really strong, Brazen Borrower is another card that is just really, really powerful, uh, I don't even like the creature half of it that much, other than the fact that it can like, trigger my Chulane, but as a bounce spell that can be a body and be bounced back to our hand, it's good. So even though we didn't Chulane as much as I would have liked, the deck was still really good and really effective and was able to take down a lot of really powerful decks. I mean, uh, who knows what the top tier of the format is right now? We're still trying to like figure that out because the set's so fresh and so new and standard just hit rotation, but it felt like we played for the most part. The blue-white control deck was a little bit weird and I'm not sure exactly what was going on in that one, but for the most part, the Simic Flash decks, the Golgari deck, the Salt Typhoon deck, they were all pretty tuned and like realistic looking at least. They weren't like random budget decks or something. And Chilean Bat was able to just outgrind almost all of them. So the deck's really powerful. Chulane, I think it is standard playable. Even though we didn't draw it as much as I would have liked in this set of matches, you got to see its power in the match where it came down and just absolutely obliterated our opponent. And while it's a little bit slow. Uh, it is just so insane if you untap with it. It might be the single most powerful creature in standard to untap with, especially if you got a couple of cards in hand to trigger it, because it's like Risen Reef on steroids that also can just lock your opponent out of the game with Frilled Mystic or steal all their stuff eventually with Agent of Treachery. So it's like Risen Reef, but so much better. So if you like the value of Risen Reef and the ramp and just the card draw, uh, you're going to like Chulane. Chulane is like Risen Reef, but just a hundred times better. So if if you like value, you like maybe annoying people right out of playing Magic altogether, like our one Golgari opponent, you like just ramping, drawing cards, I think this is a pretty reasonable option for Throne of Eldorade standards. So anyway, that's been our budget brew for this week. Shulane Band for 
Throne of Eldorane standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.